Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Morrowind Rebirth. All right, we are still in Vivek. Uh, we're currently in the uh, basement of the Fighters Guild. And last episode, we just got done killing off Dro Sakar. So we can close this quest out with Lorbamol right now. Let's go ahead and deal with that. I gave you the contract on that Khajiit, Dro Sakar. He dead yet? I heard you got that Khajiit. Here's the 500 Septum Bounty. All right, we got the 500 coins. All right, any new orders? Suvrin Dovez says that Liriel Stjoin in Aldrun owes him 2,000 septums. Get Liriel's debt money and bring it back to me. You get to keep half of it yourself. All right, good. We need to go back to Aldrun anyways. Yes, her. Go collect that debt from her. Find her in Aldrun at the Rat in the Pot. All right. All right, anything else? No, we don't have the money yet. And, okay, I think we're done here. Now, the next thing I want to do is go over to Ebonheart and see if we can turn in this alms money and maybe get another quest from those guys. Let's get out of here. And after that, we need to go up to Pelagiad and uh, talk to Anasi. Let her know what's up with the skooma attic. Alright, it'll probably take a little bit to get over there to Ebonheart. It's just right over there, but I'll cut all this out until we get over there. See you then. Alright, back outside the chapel. And now I need to try to remember. Have you phoned and killed the witch? No, that's not him. I'm working on it. Yeah, it's one of these people down here, I think, that were given the Holmes quest. Alright, was it this guy? Have you brought the five units of muck? No, not yet. Must be this guy here. Have you reached our goal of 100 gold in donations from Buckmoth Fund? Yes, and I've doubled our goal. Excellent! Once again, you've exceeded our expectations. Take these gifts as tokens of our gratitude for your faithful and diligent service to the Imperial Cult. And when you're ready for your next Elminer mission, speak to me again. Alright, 200 gold taken from us and we got a gem, gem feeder scroll. Uh, Dadala's Knack has been added to our inventory scroll. Hmm. The buying game has been added to our inventory. Alright, let's take a look at those and see what the hell that is. Buying game, is that a book? Yeah. Is it a skill book? Nope. Alright, what was that other scroll we had? Alright, we got a gem feeder. Okay, scroll of Dedala's Knack is a charm scroll. 5 to 25 points for 30 seconds on touch. Hmm, not bad. But we have eye maze scrolls too. Oh, that's chameleon. Alright, yeah, that's a pretty good scroll. Alright, what's the next mission? In your zeal to serve the needs of the Imperial Cult, don't forget your own interest. Have you checked your advancement? Congratulations, you have been promoted to Disciple. Alright, any more advancements? Nope, alright, let's see what we have next. Almoners. Alright, let's see what he's got for us now. For our coming harvest's end pageant, we need a red shirt with a black vest. Please visit clothiers and ask if they would donate such a shirt and vest to the cult. The combination of shirt and vest is what they call a common shirt. <laughs> when you have the red shirt and with a black vest, return and deliver them to me. A shirt and a vest, huh? I am told that a shirt and vest together is what they call here a common shirt. There are many styles of common shirt, but... We must have a red shirt with a black vest to symbolize the drake's fire that warms us in long, cold winter nights. Since the red shirt and black vest are a western style, Dunmer clothiers may not have them. You may have better luck in Vivek's foreign corridor, or Balmora, Caldera, or Pelagiad. <laughs> okay. 
All right, I guess we're going to go to the foreign quarter and go a little bit of shopping here. Uh, all right, that's it for this. Let's see, can we get any bartering or anything? No, I'm working on it. Bartering and training, mercantile, speechcraft, and athletics. I wonder if we shouldn't put some money in speechcraft or something like that. All right, well, let's get out of here. I'm going to go over to the foreign quarter next and see if I can find this shirt that we're looking for. And I'll see you in a moment. All right, I'm all the way over here in the canal works of the uh, foreign quarter. There's this clothier shop right here. I'm assuming this place might have a good opportunity for us to buy a uh, vest here. Shirt and vest. Let's see what she's got here. I'm sorry, I have nothing in that style. But you might try the High Elf Philanimo. He has a shop in Caldera, and he specializes in the traditional Western styles. But he is not known as a generous man. I doubt he'll donate anything, unless you have exceptional gifts of persuasion. <laughs> Alright, let's see if she's got anything otherwise. Yeah, nothing we need. Alright, so it sounds like we need to go to Caldera for that shirt and vest thing. All right, well, let's get out of here. I think the next thing we're going to do is go over to Pelagiad and talk to Anasi. Let her know her lover is handling the skooma addiction. We'll see you over there. All right, here we are back in Pelagiad. Haven't been here for a while either. Let's go inside the halfway tavern, talk to Anasi. Let's see what she's got for us now. Ah, it is Anasi's true and good friend, Travis. Anasi can never see enough of her good friend. <laughs> sure care. A friend tells Anasi that Judanar has left Vivek to return to elsewhere. She says that he looks well, and that he has stopped using sugar. Anasi is not sorry that she is free of her bond with Judanar, but Anasi is very happy that he seems to be better. Anasi is very grateful to her very special friend, and Anasi hopes that her very special friend will come visit her at Anasi's house here in Pelagia. <laughs> we mustn't keep meeting here in this old corner club. At Anasi's house, Anasi can show her very special friend some good old-fashioned Khajiit hospitality. <laughs> it's the house here in Pelagia. Across the street from the halfway, by the fort wall, off the street, with the stone fences nearby. Here, you'll need the key. If you come by the halfway again, and I am not here, I'll be at the house. Alright, we just got the key. Journal update. Alright, and training sneak hand-to-hand -hand and acrobatics. Maybe we can get some acrobatics or something like that. Uh, let's see, does she have any other kind of business for us otherwise? Doesn't look like it. New friend. There is someone watching me. I can right, share a care, share a gift. Anasi has just one care she wants to share. Anasi hopes her very special friend will stay close to Anasi and never go away. Anasi worries because Anasi looks forward to seeing you so much. But Anasi understands, and Anasi is very busy too. So Anasi is happy when she is busy, and happy when she sees you. And that is enough happiness for everyone. <laughs> Sheer gift. Anasi sees how her very good friend is always doing, always learning new tricks. So Anasi must tell you a secret. Anasi has a friend, Sinindi, a nice redguard female, who trains fighters at the arena in Vivek. And the secret Anasi tells is that Sinindi is a secret master of the guild discipline called acrobatics. Do you know what that means? That means there is no one else at Bartfell who is so fine an acrobat as Sinindi. And no one else can train you so well. So go see Sinindi and tell her Anasi sends you. Sinindi is Anasi's friend, and I know she will be happy to see you. All right, very special friend. Yes, my very special friend. Anasi hopes we will always have things to share. Share a gift, share a care, yes? Close friends, 
very close. <laughs> All right. I think we're done in here. All right now. Let's see. Where was the Nazi's house? Shown it by a stone fence or something like that. Oh, it's this one back here. All right, let's go take a look. Now that we have the key to the place, Anasi's house. And there's Anasi. All right, what do we have in here? Is there a rifle and. Oh, what was that? War meat. We don't need any of that stuff. And just other junk. Hmm, nice little place she's got here. Uh, nothing important there. Bunch of liquor. And some more food. And more food and more food. Small chest with a 30 level lock on it. Alright, before we talk to her, let's see what else is in here. A little stack of coins, let's grab that. Alright, what does she have down here? Looks like some booze. And some more food. That one's empty. As is that one. Alright, this one's locked up. Oh, what's going on with the floor? That one's locked. But it's not owned. Maybe we should try to get into it. There's some coins. Let's grab all of them. Yeah, you know what? Since it's not owned, let's go ahead and try to get into that stuff. Let's get a journeyman's pick. Success. Common shirt. A lot of alchemy stuff. Alright, let's see if we can pick this chest. And one gold piece. Other than that, nothing we need. Alright, let's come over here. Lock level 35. Let's try this one. And 25 coins. Let's grab all that. And level 25. Five more coins. Let's grab all that. Alright. There is much to and learn. And let's see. Let's see if we can get into this one too. Journeyman's pick. And 25 coins. Alright, let's see if Anasi has anything new to say. Ah, it is Anasi's very special friend, Travis. Anasi welcomed you to the hospitality of her house. Very hey, hospitality, huh? You're always welcome here, my very special friend. Anasi's house is Travis's house. Take what you need, give what you can. What Anasi has is yours. There should be plenty of food and drink downstairs, and a comfortable bed. You want the robe from Anasi's shoulders? All you need to do is ask. <laughs> sure gift. Anasi hopes you will visit with her friend. Sin and D, and learn many fine tricks. And now it is your turn to give Anasi a gift. And Anasi knows just what she wants. Flowers. Of course, a special friend knows just what flowers to get. So Anasi will tell you. Just two. One for you and one for me. A pretty coda flower for Anasi. And a pretty gold canet for Travis. Anasi can't wait to get her pretty flowers. <laughs> All right. Another quest we got going on then. Coda and Gold Cannon. Hmm. We might be able to find those around here too. Alright, do we need to do anything else while we're here? No, I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Alright, I might do a quick bit of shopping. Just to see if there's anything different here. I don't think there's anything we need to sell. Yeah, we need to keep all this stuff. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick look around. I'll be right back. All right, I'm done doing a little bit of messing around, and I also picked up some uh, gold canet and some coda flower. The gold canet is pretty common around this area, but the coda flower, I just took the tra traveler and went back to Sedanine. That stuff is pretty common around swamps, so I got myself a coda flower from over there, and I came right back here. And something else too I should bring up is we got this septum ring from that quest a while back over at Ebonheart. It gives us a, a 10 points of attack for 60 seconds along with unarmored blunt weapon and speechcraft 10 points for 60 seconds. That's a pretty good ring. It's worth a decent amount too. But I'm going to keep that thing. That might come in handy sometimes here. Alright, so now that we have these uh, flowers, let's go back in and talk to Anasi. And see if anything different is going to come out of this. Ah, it is Anasi's very special friend. Anasi welcomes you to the hospitality of her homes. Share a gift. I love my pretty coda flower. And I love your pretty gold cannon, too. So, you keep the gold cannon, yes? And treasure it always. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, you can ask Anasi to share a gift again. For it is Anasi's turn. Isn't this fun? <laughs> sure gift. Anasi has a secret. Do you know what a flame mirror robe is? Well, Anasi does not, but she knows it is very valuable. And a friend has told Anasi where it is. In the Telvani Tower in Vivek. At the Telvani compound. This wizard, Maven Adrenim, he does not wear it. So he keeps it in his clothes closet. Because you are so smart. Anasi knows you will get this flame mirror robe and bring it to show Anasi how smart you are. <laughs> All right. Anything else? All right, so we need to try to steal this thing, I'm assuming. A flame mirror robe in the Telvani compound at Vivek. Hmm. Take a look at the journal here. Keeps it in his clothes closet in the Telvani Tower of the Telvani Compound in the back. Anasi wants me to get this robe and show it to her. To show her how smart I am. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a quest we can probably handle later on. Alright, well, I think we're done here. Uh, yeah, I guess we can get out of here. Alright, now the next thing... We need to go to Caldera. Let's see here. Let's see where we can go next, Belmora. Now it looks like we're going to have to go back to... Well, we could go to Vivek and try to handle that quest. No what hell with it. Let's go. Alright, here we are at the very top of the uh, Telvani Canton in the Plaza District. And let's see, the tower that we need to get into is, yeah, right over here, this building is where the robe supposedly is. So let's go in there next. Telvani Tower. Hmm. Was there somebody over here? Let's see if these people know anything. Doing a little bit of training, sneak block and medium armor. A lot of information. Any secrets you have? Nothing that's going to be helpful to us. Alright, and we have a stairway going down over there. Sergis. Does this guy know anything? Nope. Alright, let's go inside here. There's stairways going up. Tomera. Anything spectacular with you? Doesn't appear to be. And Silius. He's doing some training. Speechcraft, light armor, and some sneak. Maybe we can do a little bit of training while we're here. Oh, there's some books over here, too. Any skill books, possibly? No. Alright, stairway going up over there. Big library of books over here. And who's this guy? For really? Any rumors? A sailor from Soul Rest. Yeah, I heard about that one already. All right, let's see what we have for some books. Any skill books over here? Azura and the Box. Nope. And the Dowry. Nope. Spirit of the Daedra. 
the importance of where ancient tales of the Dwemer hmm. the vagaries of magicka all right we're not getting anything from those let's go check these next all right these are all cheaper books Yeah, it looks like there's nothing over here. All right, let's check this shelf next. Yeah, these are all cheaper ones too. All right. Well, let's go up into the tower. All right, there's a few people up here. Salora. Let's see if she knows anything. Any rumors from you? Oh, we heard that one already. All right. Apparently that robe is in a closet. And it looks like there's one right back there. Maven Drenim. All right. This is a guy we need to steal this damn robe from. Dolls Sadri. All right. Nothing here. All right. Here's the closet. Let's see. It's open. Is that yeah, flame mirror robe, that's what we need. Hmm. I wonder if we can get in behind it or something like that. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we can get behind this thing. Oh yeah, we can. Can we hide back here? Yeah we can. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's make sure we don't get caught, though. Uh, let's see. We had a scroll, don't we? Which one was it? That's charming. Golnora's Eye Maze. Chameleon, 25 to 50. Yep. Let's use that. I want to use up these scrolls and get them out of our inventory here. All right, let's see if we can gank this thing. What else do we have in here? Yeah, let's grab the robe. Alright, we're safe, it appears. Okay. Oh, walking through the wall there. Alright, let's take a quick look. There wasn't anything else in there that we needed, right? No, we don't need that. Alright. That appeared to be simple enough. Let's see what this robe actually does here. All right, resist fire 25 and reflect 5 to 20, both for 30 seconds. Hmm. All right, let's go see what's down here next. Prison cells. Telvani Vault. Hmm. Let's go over here first, see if there's anything interesting. It's all own stuff. Some guards. There's a couple books down there. Hmm. Heavy armor, nice. Oh no weakness or fall. Yeah, there's somebody locked back here. Does this guy know anything? Nope. back here and there's a key right there but we'll leave that alone all right nothing of interest down here let's go check that other vault right here three gods one true telvani vault ledger I suppose this place is trapped to be hell too and guarded like crazy Trapped and there's a monster back there too. <laughs> and trapped level 75, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to get into that place. Alright, well, let's go back to Anasi and let's turn in this robe and see what's going to come with this quest. Let's see, we haven't been all the way around here. Let's go around through here, see if there's any other people back here possibly. Oh yeah, there's somebody right here. 
and see if he knows anything. Nothing. And this is the entrance, right? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Anasi. We'll see you in Pelagiad. Alright, here we are in Pelagiad. And on the way back, I stopped at the Foreign Quarter just to do a little bit of shopping. I went down into the canal works at that one mage I was selling a bunch of high-end magic items. And he was selling this greater healing belt. I had to buy this thing. This thing was like seven grand, yeah. I paid like seven grand for this thing. It restores health 40 points on self and then two points for 60 seconds on self. So that's a really good belt. Yeah, I've had to buy that thing. All right, let's talk to Anasi. Let her know we got this robe. All right, share a gift. Oh, look, a flame mirror robe. How clever you are. But we both knew that, did we not? And my goodness, such enchantments and very, very pretty. Hmm. Give Anasi the robe as a gift. Yeah, I don't really don't need it. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, but it's too much for Anasi. Anasi, it is so lovely. But you must let Anasi give you a gift in return. What could possibly be so rare, so fine? Here, Anasi gives you these. They are rare and precious. Anasi could never use them. But Anasi hopes they bring you luck in a hard place. All right, she grabbed the robe. 20 ebony throwing stars. No, we don't need them either. Alright, anything else? Share a gift. Anasi has another surprise? Are you ready? Have you heard of Elvul's black blindfold? A magic glove which blinds and befuddles archers. Anasi knows nothing about magic, but she has heard this is a wonderful glove. Very beautiful, very valuable, but so sad. It is in Rufinus Ilias's chest of drawers in the living quarters of the Imperial Commission in Ebonheart. Many Imperial guards, very tough, very dangerous, so sad. <laughs> but so glad, guess what? There's a secret passage hidden underwater. To sneak into the Imperial Commission, all you have to do is search for the hidden underwater entrance. It must be nearby. Too easy. <laughs> Yeah, we know where that hidden entrance is. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to do that later, though. All right, we are running up on time once again, too. We should probably start heading back up north, though. Handle some quests up there at Eldrune and continue on that way. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that all in the next episode. Let's go ahead and end her here.